guys and girls. This is Claudia here from Metal Days 2017. Oh, yay! Hi. Good to see you. How are you, Claudia? Yeah, now I'm better. Talking to you. Good. Yeah, yeah. Good. The weather outside is a bit stormy and things, but... No. Yeah, it's because uh, we, we summoned it. You summoned it? During the show. Oh. Yes. Yeah. It was fantastic. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah? Yeah. I don't think we ever... Uh, experienced that before that during okay. the show the storm came and like mad we had to quit actually yeah oh God. yeah but it was really cool yeah so so the, as long as it lasted it was cool yeah <laughs> and uh, so my question about the album is like a, such a standard question that everybody's asking that it feels like wrong to ask you but There is an album out, actually. Yeah. So, when you do the songwriting, is it like you have a lot of things that you were working on for a long time and then you decide, okay, this is gonna go on the album? Or you write one thing for, this is the album? No, it, it, it never that? happens that way. Mm. Um, I don't think we write in a conceptual way, like, yeah. okay, we want the songs to be about this. Yeah. We just write songs and... Um, It doesn't matter what they're about, as long mm -hmm. as the, the emotion yeah. in the song is strong or, mm -hmm. you know, it, it doesn't always need to fit together in, 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 yeah. in an album, mm -hmm. I, I think. So how do you decide what goes on there then? Like with the feeling and you, you try to listen to it in a sequence? Well, or? you know, in the end we had, we had a lot of songs and we uh -huh. recorded a lot of songs and then we just tried to make a good album out of it mm -hmm. that felt right and it was... Yeah you know, seemed some, you know, a, a bit logical or something, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that's what we did. And uh, when you go into the studio, it's like, it's so different from the live playing. How do you try and get all that energy in that box? Well, for the, um, for the recording of the album, uh, yeah. uh, a lot of the things were, were recorded live. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the drums and the bass and the rhythm guitar parts were tracked live in the studio. Mm -hmm mainly mm -hmm. and after that uh, we layered layered to okay. create the rest of the album that's great so okay. to get the live feel of the band we right. we definitely started from the, the, the live feeling of a guitar drum and bass yeah and great. mostly no, so, no cutting everything yeah. in one take like the whole song great just to get this energy yeah. that we yeah. felt in the rehearsal room and live right. on stage and a couple of songs were one takes I think mm -hmm. I think there were One or two, maybe that were one takes. Yeah, we definitely got the good vibe. Just mm -hmm. yeah, because that's really difficult <laughs> yeah. to get that into the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, there's a question about artistry that I like to put. It's what what is art for you? What do you think makes something become art? Or somebody become an artist? Um, art is to me. It is expression. Mm -hmm. It is uh, self-exploration. Mm -hmm. um, it can be ma art. Can be many things, many disciplines, mm -hmm. many forms, shapes, feelings, emotions. Mm -hmm. um, but art mainly is, you know, some kind of truth. Mm -hmm. um, Well, this, that's the art that gets my attention. Like, yeah. if I, if I can feel it's 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 um, it's it's honest. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if it's a painting or a music or you know it can be R and B music or it yeah. can be rock music. It can be anything. Yeah. If you feel there's some kind of urgency uh -huh. inside a uh, in a song mm -hmm. or in a painting or in a in a theater performance yeah. even, um, that is art to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the honesty that you can feel. Honesty mm -hmm. and you know emotions, true, yeah, either negative or positive. But as long mm -hmm. as it you know it feels pure, honest, um, I consider it art. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think about the idea that somebody is an artist, or somebody is viewed as an artist, or sees himself as an artist, or her? I think it works both ways. You have um, mm -hmm. a certain person who makes something, uh, mm -hmm. something he wants to share with mm -hmm. people, or wants to share with with uh, with the world in a sense. Mm -hmm. And if one considers it art, uh, 
that's in the eye of the beholder, I guess. Um, uh, I can't make people like stuff. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't want to. If, if, like, if, no. But if you don't, but, 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 if it, but if it's good enough for me, um, uh -huh. uh, and I think we set pretty high standards on what we uh, want to convey to the world, uh -huh. um, then other people hopefully will agree. Uh -huh. on so. what and, if works. They, and if they don't, fuck them. I mean, um, we feel the need to express ourselves on the record, on stage, and. Uh -huh. I mean, even if we're playing for five people, it doesn't fucking matter because we have a story to tell and we want to get it out there. And um, so, yeah. For me personally, I don't, I don't make music for other people. Mm -hmm. I'm, you I'm make not, music I'm, for yourself. I'm, I'm not doing yeah. it for anyone else except for you. Yeah. So, um, when you're getting on stage, is it like you enter this realm of this is my musical moment now? Yeah. For you personally, and whatever is out there, mm -hmm. or whoever it's, is out it's, there. It's, uh, uh, at that point, uh, whenever I walk on stage, mm -hmm. uh, I try to get in a zone where uh, I don't have to think, and it just comes out in a mm -hmm. natural way. Mm -hmm. um, and the best shows are the ones where um, I, I haven't thought at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just, just walk off, and, and it was okay. Also, this, was, this was really nice. Mm -hmm. Or the ones where it storms a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> preferably a lot of rain. I think all of us agree on the fact that um, a show is a success to us mm -hmm. um, when we have uh, the feeling that uh, both, you know, the barrier between ourselves and mm -hmm. the crowd disappears and we are all caught in the same, mm -hmm. like, timeless moment and uh, uh, some sort of spaceless area. Like, you don't you forget about where you are mm -hmm. what time it is you know what you're age it is thinking even about you can just day. be yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 and then after the show you can like gradually come back as if you've just been on ecstasy for an hour or an hour and a half and you can just come back and um, yeah and start feeling the rest of the world around you again so you just forget about everything and just be in the moment in the now yeah. in the um, in the always and in the yeah. never <laughs> yeah. great so thank you very much for the interview thank you claudia thank you and also for, thank you for your music so what did out you for enjoy the show I you haven't seen see it. it. No, I okay. had to work. I'm sorry. This interview's done. Mm -hmm. But you know, she probably was interviewing other bands whose mm -hmm. shows she also missed. Mm -hmm. No, not uh, every one. So I'm not missing out every band. So okay. Luckily, I can see some of the bands still playing, okay. not just doing the interviews. I hope you have fun here on this beautiful festival. Yes, I do actually. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so thank you very much for being here and enjoy your shows. Same way as you always do. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you very much.